Greetings, beloveds. The understanding of what you call addiction is where the ego has developed a habit or wanting or craving or desiring a substance or a feeling or an object. Understand, beloveds, that it is an energy. It is the it is the light that is within a particular desire that you crave. Understand that desire is what is born of the soul. A desire comes from the heart. A desire to go somewhere, a desire to do something, a desire to have something. And when in a natural process of evolution and manifestation, when a desire is created and then it is made manifest, the desire has been fulfilled. But when there is a desire and you are diverted from the manifestation of that thing, of what it is that the soul is actually craving, an addiction will develop over and over and over again. You will desire to have this thing, whether it is substance, alcohol, cigarettes, drugs, food, whether it is an action, sex, gambling. Some people are addicted to exercise. Some people are addicted to extreme sports, skiing down hills, mountains, racing across the water, these death, jumping out of airplanes with a parachute. It is a desire to experience an energy that is truly their experience of what is love and their experience of what is God and their experience of what is truth. If you wish to heal, if you wish to transform what is addiction, you must go within to your hearts, beloved. You must find what it is that the original desire is and understand where it is that you were diverted off of the path, where it is that the energy of desire to manifestation has been misdirected or redirected. And you must forgive yourself along the way, knowing that you were meant to take this path. You were meant to make this choice. You were meant to follow this energy dynamic. And as you allow yourself to we would call reverse engineer and go back to the source of that original desire, you will find that desire has only ever been to experience love. That desire has only ever been to experience God, to experience self. And when you allow yourself to once again come to the pleasure of love, the pleasure of life, the pleasure that love is, Love is what fills the hole where that constant need and desire and addiction exists. Addiction is a longing for something to fill something that feels as if it can never be fulfilled. It is an attachment to something that does not belong to you in, in the way that it looks like it is something outside of you that you try to bring into you. If you come from the inside and move out, beloveds, if you come from the inside and you say, God, show me who I am. Show me the work that you would have me do. Holy Spirit, connect me to divine source. Then everything that you want and everything that you desire will naturally be brought to you. There will not be a need to go out and search and grab and take and 
you will not feel unfulfilled. You will not feel that there is anything that is missing. You will not feel that there is anything that you long for. You will have released the need and the attachment for anything and everything. And you will feel a sense of completion because you have taken in the whole, there is nothing that is missing. When I allowed myself to be responsible for everything, everything I thought, everything I felt, everything everyone else thought, everything everyone else felt, there was a moment of completion and there was attachment to nothing. This freedom for you, beloveds, comes in the willingness for you to say, I am of service to God. My life is to be lived within the peace and the understanding that only love is real. When you want something that you feel you do not have or you cannot have, you are longing for something that is not real. Everything that you want, everything that you need, you have within you. So go within, beloveds, and take a look at what it is that you have projected out onto the world and say, that exists out there, but not within me. For the truth is that only love is real. You have everything that you want and that you need within you. And you have different paths and you have different journeys and you have different relationships that you will have. Different people will come in and through your life. And these are all people that you have invited in. There is no one that comes to you without an invitation from you. There is no one whose life you enter that has not welcomed you there. So fulfill your purpose, do your work, and continue to move through life. And allow love to be the guiding force. Look within, beloveds, and love yourself more. Ask yourself, ask the Holy Spirit, how can I love myself more? How can I be of greater service to God? God, how can I love you more? And God will only ever say, by loving yourself more. So allow your hearts to be filled today, beloveds, with the love that I have for you, the love that God has for you, most importantly, allow your hearts to be filled with the love that you have for yourself. Feeling compelled to do anything should be an action of love. Let yourself be compelled to love as God loves. Be compelled, beloveds, to love yourself and all of your projections as God loves you. And there you have fulfilled your promise. There you have fulfilled your life's purpose. There you have fulfilled love's true desire, which is to know itself. Blessings to you, beloveds. We will speak with you again. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Yashua. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Yashua and Lynn.